February is Black History Month, so every week I'll be sharing a different story about black history in the Big 12 Conference. Kansas boasts one of the most prolific men's basketball programs in collegiate men's basketball, certainly in the Big 12 Conference. Kansas's first basketball season was in 1898. They started their first black player 56 years later. Maurice King was a six foot two guard from Kansas City, Missouri. When King arrived in Lawrence in 1953, he was the second African American to play for the Jayhawks. He took the court as the first black starter in 1954. In 1955, another black player stepped foot in Lawrence. You may have heard of this guy, Wilt Chamberlain. Every basketball minded college wanted this young man and he finally elected to go to the University of Kansas, where he proved invaluable in sparking his teams to victory. Being one of the only collegiate teams with black players presented a number of obstacles for the Jayhawks in the 50s. Angry spectators screamed racial slurs at Chamberlain and teammate Maurice King. The next night, it was even worse. When Kansas played Oklahoma City, the game had to be delayed because of the debris on the court. KU players and cheerleaders were pelted with seat cushions and heated coins that were thrown from the stands. 59 years after King started for the Jayhawks, his grandson, Ishmael Wainwright, in his freshman season, would see his first start as a Baylor Bear. During his senior season, the final time Wainwright took the floor in Lawrence, Kansas, in 2016, he was sure to pay homage to the one who made it possible for not only himself, but all black collegiate players today. At guard, a senior from Kansas City, Missouri, number 24, Ishmael King Wainwright. He paid the way. I mean, a legacy that I never thought that I could actually live out, and I'm actually doing what I need to do. Having fun playing a game. Uh, I think I sit down and think about it. I write, I wrote a letter to him, and everything like that. Like, I just sit down and just think about it, like, man, like that's amazing. Like out of all of the other athletes in the world, he was the first letterman like, at KU, which is like the mecca of basketball, and like that's where Fog Allen was. Like that's just amazing. <laughs> Ron Lineski, a teammate of King at Kansas, once said that King provided an example for future black athletes. It was sort of an evolution for everybody that followed, he said. Maurice made it that much easier. Another person said that Wilt may have been the face of Kansas basketball, but that Maurice was the soul.